Hello everyone, it is Charlotte here. Welcome to my home. Come on in as I share my new Artie Mays design team project. This is the steampunk in which I was hoping to incorporate lace and um, other elements so that it isn't total, total steampunk. This is sold. Um, somebody contacted me and um, really loved it, so it is sold, but I thought let's share it anyway. You can see the lace part. It almost is two journals in one. It's pretty, it's a, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty wide, or not wide, but it is tall. Um, but it's beautiful. I really, really like it. And I am hoping that those of you that are not too sure about steampunk can see that it, it doesn't have to be just all about steampunk. There's so much more. I used a Tim Holtz um, fabric for the closure, the ribbon closure of the lace part of this journal. This is Artie Mays. This, the frame is... Um, Tim Holtz, and then the gears, the metal gears are Tim Holtz. Lots of vintage lace. This part here was an old curtain that I had when we were living in Germany. Um, I wouldn't say vintage. I don't know how old you have to be to be vintage. It's about, let's see, it was in the 90s. So it's like 30 years old. This here is handmade and it is vintage. Um, this is not, everything has been coffee or tea dyed. Uh, we've got some Venice lace here, so if you open up the cover, what I did is I used Venice lace here as a pocket. There is a piece of a dresser scarf here. Here is one of the um, little banners that I just folded up because I thought this is a cute place to journal. There is an envelope with a tag inside. This is Artie Mays and is with the kit. And then I put a little piece of um, eyelash trim on the end of this um, copper paper clip. So that just kind of slips in there like that. This side, we have a piece of handmade crochet work. Here is a, um, um, a piece of the black and white engraving from Tim Holtz. And I added some embossing glaze, a, a couple gears up here with a bulb pin. And if you lift this up, we've got another piece there and a couple vellum pieces there. On this side, we have more, a lace pocket, and um, this is Artie Mays. This is from the kit. So cute. And then a little vellum piece there as just a little extra piece. On this side, I just created a little fold out here so you have some journal space. This is solid. You could add anything you wanted to this. You could pin things to this or add a photo and in here from the kit is a um, bookmark along with a tab and then I made this into a little pocket just like that and then on this side this flips up I attached some um, little Tim Holtz pieces a gear a bead and a, yeah, a safety pin along with a little um, bulb pin, uh, antique lace, both of these pieces. If you lift this up, we've got another lace pocket and I created a, um, a little, it's got steampunk on it. Just, I took the scraps. There's the professor. Um, I think he's the professor. I'm not sure I'm calling him the professor, but it is a little booklet. And um, it's got beadwork at the bottom. So it just stays right in there like that. And that flips down. This side, I created a pocket. We've got a little netting here, some more vintage um, 
lace and this is more fabric from Tim Holtz and another little journaling card that came in the kit. All the information for the kit I will have down in the description box as well as Andrea's um, Etsy shop so that you can go see how many beautiful things she's got in there. I did another bookmark up here. This is a bag. Um, this bag was one of those bags from the restaurant Chili's. And in here there's a pocket with a tag. And here is like just a little snippet of goodies. There's a piece of vintage lace. Here's a little scrap piece of lace, some beads, a safety pin, and a, just a tiny little tag. On this side, we have a label here. This is more fabric from Tim Holtz. I added rhinestones to the gears on the wheel of this car. And then here is, it's just a little fold out, a scrap piece of paper. And there is a little bead on this um, paper clip there. So that really just sits in there like that. This page, more uh, vintage lace. And here's a scrap of vintage lace held on with a paper clip. We've got a tag with some gears and that creates a belly band and um, some more engraving and some embossing glaze. I added a flower to that just to show you what you can do with gears. And I thought it looked good. And then we've got some coffee dyed pattern paper here, some lace and another um, safety pin. This side, I, I wanted to give you a little bit of a journaling card. So this is pretty simple, but it's got two little pieces of vellum that sit inside. You can take these out. They just sit inside that little um, flower stem. And then there is a tag. I thought he was really cool. I thought that he fit the theme of this. And so he just sits down in there like that. This side, I did, I just did a little play on top of this hand crocheted lace. We've got a lot of um, embossing glaze here on this flower. I wanted it to look like the bird was carrying this flower here. And then I used some, a chipboard piece here, a little piece here, and then I added a, um, glittered flower there with a little rhinestone. This page here is the last page in this part and I've sewn on a piece of coffee dyed paper for journaling. I used a um, paper clip. I clamped this um, Artie Mays. I made a, a pocket out of this page and then added another journal page inside of here like that and I thought it had a perfect home on this page here and then I took and did a scrap scrap collage added a little um I can't remember I would say grommet that's not a grommet um well a metal piece there this is already maze here this is already maze and um I just keep it keep this on there just like that. This is the back. I used um, fabric for the back like this because it does sit on here and I didn't want anything to happen to this cover page. This cover page you can see we've got florals, we've got the timepiece here, um, we've got the um, eyelash trim, this piece here, we've got this stitched piece, and then we've got the, these laces down here. And I did color on this butterfly. So that is the cover page and the beginning of this part of the journal. Inside cover, I did not make pockets out of any of these pages. I want, If you wanted to do that, I wanted you to be able to, all you would have to do is just take a little bead of glue right there and this would create a pocket where you could add 
photos, you can add papers for journaling, but you can see Artie Mays did beautiful, beautiful work with this steampunk theme. I have a die cut here with a um, photo, a paper clip on this side. I've got vintage lace. I did add a flower for a pop of color. Here is another engraving, and this is a piece from the book as well. So cool. So the, I should say the digital, um, Artie Mays digital pieces. I don't know, the book, I don't know where that came from. Coffee dyed journaling page. On this side, there is a corner piece from the uh, kit, and then three of the journal tags. You can take these tags apart if you wanted, but I thought I'll just let that be to whomever's um, home this is going to. I'll let you do that. Beautiful page here. And you can see Andrea even incorporated what looks like a flower. Blends in so well. I mean, steampunk is pretty cool, guys. Then I went outside the box, added an engraved butterfly here out of vinyl. You can see I have a little bit of color, pink lavender color peeking out of there. And I think it just looks beautiful. And like I said, each one of these, unless I made it a pocket, I made very few a pocket. They're all open so you can do what you want. A little, um, uh collage work here with some lace and scraps. This page, I did put one of our um, paper clips onto here. And let's see, inside of this, I did not make this a pocket, but inside of this, there is a tag. And on this side, there is another um, Artie Mays envelope with a tag. I mean, it's just so, the colors, it's just so cool. This is just the coolest journal ever. Um, another Artie Mays steampunk. I added a glycine bag, and inside of this bag, we have this page here. This is one of the full pages that I just folded into thirds because it makes a, oh, no, I didn't either. This makes a uh, envelope. And so I just attached this copper paper clip to that and it fits nicely in that bag. And if you turn the bag over, I used a uh, label here. This I'm pretty sure is Tim Holtz. The, um, oh my goodness, I can't believe how I just, you, you just get going and you just forget what these, what these are, the tab, the tab is already Mays. The kit actually comes with several tabs. I think I used all but one. Another um, gorgeous steampunk design. I love that she did this fashion um, model with a uh, butterfly, and then you've got that so steampunk looking eyeglass up on the top. Added um, more vintage lace here. Here is that butterfly. We did this together. I did go ahead and add beads with a um, safety pin on that butterfly. Here's the guest check. The person that has this, if they want, they could just put a little bit of glue there and make a pocket out of here, but you never really know what people want to do, so I left it. Here is another one of the um, paper clips that we did, and I added a postcard to that. And um, on the other side of this is another Artie Mays um, envelope that comes in the kit. I mean, how cute. That's my favorite page, actually. I love those little cats. They look as cute as can be. But you've got a nice journaling spot right there. As you can see, this is loaded. Here's the uh, other paper clip that we made, and I added a journal card behind that, just a little um, tag there. But 
What I wanted to show you is look at how beautiful this just fits in there. The colors, you've got white lace, you've got flowers, you have the bling of the glitter, and then you've got beadwork, and it just looks like it goes. This color picks up the color on this side, so lots of possibilities with steampunk. Um, we went through this before. Lots of tickets in here. This is a row of tickets that uh, each one can be um, journaled on. And I left this open so that when this goes inside of here, this can just tuck and it won't flap out. You've got a tag back here and all these tickets here. And this is very, very old lace. Here is another one of the um, paper clips and more beautiful pages. Here's the other pocket, comes in the kit and I just folded this in so that you would have a complete journal page. And then what I did on this, I, I saw this trunk in the engravings by Tim Holtz. And I just thought, this is cool. This came, this is an engraving. You've got a metal butterfly here. I attached a paper clip. I made this into a pocket. This is in Andrea's kit. But what I did is I wanted the treasure chest to open up. And so I hinged it. And if you open it up, I put treasures inside. So I just thought that that was you know, a really, really cool thing to do. And I'm pretty excited about that. I think it looks really, really neat. And this is the last page right here. This side's got more of this very old lace. Then I went ahead and I took some of my scraps, put them together with another flower and a piece of lace. And then I put my favorite page of the kit these cats. I just think Andrea did the best job ever. Here is the inside cover and there is the back. So that is it, my friends. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming on this journey with me. I hope that you found some inspiration. I hope if you've never worked with steampunk that you'll give it a try. Just try it on a small scale. Maybe do one page and see if you don't fall in love with it. I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend, and we will start a new project soon, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.